Three things that's hit me from the Jewel Okafor video right now. Number one, TMZ Sports. Damn, are they good at what they do. Look, when that original video came out on Thanksgiving, right? All of a sudden, you got Jewel Okafor pinning a guy down and throwing a punch, and then the camera just stops. How is that possible in 2015 with 2025 20, people around that fight and Jewel Okafor, everybody knew, was the NBA star out there swinging, okay? Video just stops. I didn't understand that. TMZ Sports, they're damn good at what they do. They released that video the following day. Always remember that about TMZ Sports. Keep that traffic coming. Two, Sam Hinkie and the 76 organization, they mishandled this right from the jump. Two reasons why, I will say. Number one is, how do you look at that video on Thanksgiving and not suspend Jalil Okafor if you knew about the gun incident, right? But if you didn't know about the gun incident, now you got your number three overall pick out there in downtown Philly swinging on people, getting guns pulled on them, or gun, excuse me, and he didn't tell anybody. So you don't even know what's going on with your number three overall pick. So they were damned if they do, damned if they don't. Sam Hickey chose to go the silent route, put Brent, Brett Brown out there to answer the questions. Yeah, that's that's got to stop. And, of course, Jill Okafor put out a series of tweets and, oh, we're going to have a security guard. Stop that. Number three is a question for you guys out there. Do you suspend Okafor now because of this video? I mean, this video is bad, but was that video on Thanksgiving not bad enough? I don't know. I thought he should have been suspended right then and there. A lot of you came at me. I want to hear your thoughts right now. Do you suspend Jaleel Okafor right now? That's the question. PhillyOfficer.com. Hit me up.